Ah, hello everybody, and welcome back to Freedom Fighter. I'm actually in People's Park. I know this area used to be owned by the Crossley family, it used to be their gardens um, in one time. It's now where uh, part that's uh, being left to the people of Halifax. And uh, it's quite a mild, cold um, day. Um, you got Caldwell College at the back of me. But let's we'll have a walk and see what we can get for you. Um, I think we're going to bring some good videos um, to the channel um, this week, all being well. Um, stayed up till what time was it yesterday? Half four, five o'clock. Half four, five o'clock in the morning on DJ Vic Lyrical's channel, talking to some fantastic uh, people from across the entire world. Uh, entertained you for six and seven hours. Uh. <laughs> I have done a proper big video on uh, People's Park before uh, you might like to check that out The Rat Park The Rat Park, yeah uh, on the channel and uh, for the people uh, wondering Kalua is with me today <laughs> Look at me Lou Louie 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 I know DJ Vix adores uh, Kalu, and I know Miss Angela adores Miss uh, Kalua, <laughs> Siberian bitch husky. <laughs> hey, you're gorgeous, aren't you, Miss Louie? Hey, hey, you're gorgeous, aren't you? Gorgeous. <laughs> What's this garbo? Covid-19? Oh, yeah. What's this garbo? So look at this garbo. Oh, it's upside down, that mate. That's good, isn't it? Sorry guys, it's not me. The bloody thing's upside down.
you know what really sickens me about this area? It's all fly tipping. It's not wood lane, no, isn't it? Cars park where they want to park on here. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no fucking rules. Don't ask. <laughs> What's that glass? Uh, how are people in wheelchairs supposed to get on this path by parking like this? Oh, it's that I did want to mention while I was actually walking. If you text me guys, or you phone me, or you email me, I might not get to your messages straight away if I'm in the middle of something. I've got a mum at home that's poorly. Eh? I've got nurses going and pillar and post at all different times because they don't phone you when they're going to turn up. They never do. I'm waiting for an oxygen person as well. That's changed the appointment about nine times. Because they haven't got them in stock. Because they haven't got them in stock. And I already booked months in advance that I'd go on and I'd do certain things as well. So I don't get to your emails, and I don't get to your text messages, and I don't get to your phone calls. I'm one human fucking being. So have no. some patience. We've got a million and one tax to do. And then you've got to deal with Zara, that's got severe autism as well. And then you've got to look after Ruby, because Natalie's at work. So it's not easy what I've going, been going for for the last few months. And all the rest of the world and tribute as well. But need to see what we're doing and planning. So can you have some dignity and some and some uh, respect, please? I can't do about a thousand and odd jobs at once. I respect all, yeah, and I wish you all the best and everything like that. And I'm here to support you as best as I possibly can, but it works in that favour as well. And it's not you need a break off YouTube or anything like that. At all. I'm sick of hearing that. Yeah, the gibbet. And there you go, this is Alex Gibbet. I've also a video on this as well, which is on the channel. And the amount of heads I'd like to actually get chopped on that thing's unreal. Well, it used to be the case you used to make if you stole anything. Yeah. If you stole the horse, the horse used to pull the pin out of it and it dropped. Yeah. Or whatever it was. And if you stole cloth and stuff yes. like that. But they have to go from there. They have to go from there. Halifax said, 
Out of the boundary of Halifax. Yeah. The running man pub, which is up there. Up there. That's what it's named. That's why it's named after the running man. It was after a person who got who actually got his head taken and took his head out of the thing before the plate dropped and ran to that boundary. Yeah. But you're not supposed. Of course, if you did that, you're not allowed back in Halifax. So the sub, the silly bugger did come back, didn't he? So he ended up having his head chopped off. Yeah. Read, read. The battle of the gibbet law. I thought it's stupid, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. From Hull, Hill and Halifax. Uh, yeah. And read about the running man and all this lot. It's a good read. Good, especially if you're an history buff. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the Anlisters. Mm -hmm. uh, across the families. Mm -hmm. Big Daddy. Mm -hmm. The wrestler. Mm -hmm. And the little, uh, so. Quite a few people. Yeah. Well, you can go to, if you're an history buff to get another read of the history of Halifax. Murders. Halifax Murders, there's also that, a book of them. Mm. Ooh. It's good. We'll do a nice cup of tea when I get home. Yeah. Fucking stinks down here. Oh. If you go around this corner here, um, you'll find the Halifax um, cop shop, police station. Here's all of this uh, road here, and here's down there. You'll actually end up at the police station. Yeah. I'll show you how the police station. But uh, I'm not going to. I'm not walking. I'm walking. Well, I'm literally walking past it. We're totally on it. Oh, if that's police stations. Yeah. The police actually use the car park of the church uh, and park the vehicles as well. But this building here. Is Halifax Police sure. Station. Obviously not the billboard, but that there is Halifax Police Station. Now you got town stuff over there. What's this? More road works. <sighs> the only thing I hate is tunnels. I'm gonna go under one in a minute. Because the fucking stink. So it'll go dark in a minute, guys and girls, because Coralville Council don't like putting lights in them. And not cleaning them. It's not just in Camurich. So never touch the walls. 
if you're going under one of these. Here we go. Bop. Bop. <laughs> and welcome to Dean Clough. Yeah. Church in the distance? Yeah, All Souls Church. Yeah. Saints, Souls, Flora. G Mill in front of us. Yeah. Then you got all that back here, of course, is Halifax as well. North Bridge in that area, flyover. KFC, for the KFC drive through. Still at distance there. Is it me or is it foggy today? What? Is it me or is it foggy today? Really foggy. Really foggy. That small building there is K Mill. This building is K Mill. Yeah, it's the seating stuff in front of them. You know this big long tower thing? Yes. Is it still actually functioning? So you mean the uh, chimney? Yeah. No. Or has it all been turned off then? It's all turned off. So why don't they just get rid of it? Because of the history. Don't yeah. forget, that used to be all the old uh, carpet mills. Mm -hmm. So it's the history belonging to customers carpet mills. Mm -hmm. So they won't get rid of it, it's all the history. Don't forget, all this round here, you, as far as you can see, was the carpet mill. All these, got them. These buildings here. And all that but they killed it by putting flyovers up. But it, people need to have a look at the old maps of Halifax. See what basically Halifax did have in the good old days. They were surprised. Halifax did you have, you used to have a prison as well. Oh, I've done that. Yeah, same. I've been up there. Yeah. That's on the channel and all. Yeah, same. There's not much Halifax they haven't done. Yeah. Rail railway stations. So you stop here. See? One of the biggest industries going. Textiles in Halifax. There's old regiment, army regiment. Duke yeah, but that's now school and a bit, a bit tedious to go in and film in the school. Yeah, we said Duke Wellington. Army barracks at uh, Beechwood Park, used to be the bar army barracks. See? Gone round all that, yeah. done that. Tell stories about Beechwood Park as well. Yeah. People try uh, committing suicide and that type of thing in there. Say. Spoke about all that, that's on channel. There's not much of Halifax he haven't done. No. We're totally honest with you. We must have a, we must have a chocolate factory. We still have, don't we? Yeah, I've done that. Next to where? Yeah. Where they made the famous Quality Street. Yeah. Did all that. Did that with Mum were fit and healthy. Mm. 
be at two hospitals now they've got one. Yeah. Then you've got your football team. And the yeah. rugby team. Yeah. The blue socks. Yeah. Now Halifax FC. Yeah. OSC Halifax. Yeah. Just we call Shaman. Yeah. It's easy. The shame in our party has gone. I was saying you've got a good bit of history. Mm -hmm. See, we had a lot of these used to be called Hurt uh, Mills as well, but I think Hurt. Rossless. But the block, the biggest, the big, the sign by a fucking flyover pillar. Yeah. But I really need that bastard fly up. Yes. Otherwise, it won't get from A to B. Of course, you fucking can. How did they do it in old them days? In older days, this road one didn't exist. Dirt tracks. No, that road was dirt tracks. Uh, yeah. And the yard belonging to this. All this used to be yards. So they didn't go on to road. Work it out. Yeah. Just all, all mill area. Right, this side of the stone. Yeah. It's all blocked up, blocked because they're fucking. First name? Crossley and Sons. Crossley and Sons Limited. 1932. 1932, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I killed it all. These twists gone. Of it. And now moving into the 20th century. Let's describe a lot of your history. Well, hobo flows killed a lot of industry, eh? Good job, Phil. Uh, No, it's off it words done. What? No, it's off it words done. <laughs> if you call it done. Yeah, going up. Go bong, go bong, go bong. Good 
Bongo 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 How it's we get out of this shit hole? Hmm. The fucking shit hole. Constant no, fucking shit hole. The whole fucking area is a shit hole. I know. Fucking underwear as well now. Sewage site, souls, souls. We make millions off your waste. Souls, souls. And also charge you millions for that to, to remove items. Be private. Yeah, owned by council. Yeah. But. I will charge you £25 to move a sofa. <laughs> well, not every council tries to remove household goods either. Yeah. That's all the tripe. It's all about the money, and not the people. Charging for your waste. Oh, they charge for bloody all sorts. What? Charge for bloody all sorts. Anything they can make money on, not do it. Just a greedy set of bastards. If that was owned by the council, the money could go back into a council purse. <laughs> mean, mean councillor's back pocket? Well, it still could. It'll still go back to the fucking council, whatever way, shape or form it did, if it lost if, if, if it belonged to the council. Instead of the councillor, we thought it was make it. This pathway is sold. Hi. Kelly we You seen that cat? Kelly yeah. we seen that cat. Kelly we seen that cat. You don't get huskies and cats. Because they don't get on very much. Kiliwi. 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 You don't want him now. Kiliwi. That's the wolf, what's in him? <laughs> in the hunting mouth. He's just stalking down the prey, that's what I'm saying. Cats. <laughs> oh. I don't want my arm pulled out of my socket. <laughs> oh, I love my girly dog, don't I? You need I? a good brush, girl, good girl, girl girly. It's actually hunting, hunting that cat there. That's <laughs> actually that poor fucking buggy there. Come on. <laughs> Come on, good girl. Oh. Make up here, that, yeah. Miss Louie, Louie. 
<laughs> Parking up pavement again. Just can't get through. Quite a space there. You don't have to block the fucking pavement. The voice of reason. Oh no, that's fucking bell ends, isn't it? What? The voice of reason. Bell end, who found? Fucking bell end. Oh. The chick you used to work with, bell end. Oh yeah. The voice of reason. <laughs> How about that many fucking people? Bell end. Oh, yeah. a lot of bell ends I've worked with. Oh, it's biggest bell end. Biggest bell end I've ever worked with. Worked with. Yeah. The list got the dust is that long. Was it hard? What? Working with a bell end. You just go. You just go on with it like everything else. Double the work, but you get on with it. <laughs> oh, it's the biggest toss pot. You ever worked with? Biggest tusk pot I've ever worked with? Yeah. Tusk right. tusk pot will speed you up. <laughs> the, list, the list goes on. I'll be here to Christmas to tell you all the tusk pots I've worked with. The biggest manager tusk pot. The biggest manager tusk pot? In football you've In football. worked with, yeah. Can I, I'll still be here until Christmas. Tell us a story about um, Michael Ferguson, or whatever he's called. Fergie. Fergie? Yeah. The Fergie. scum manager. Oh, the. Alex? Yeah. Fergie. Ferguson. <laughs> Alex <laughs> Ferguson, what he's fucking called. He was a tough bastard, but he was also, he was also a fucking laugh. If you got to know him. But that's what his, but that's what his job was. To get his team to win, but I fucking hell, just have some right last with him. But that's what he called being determined, and that's why they won so much because of what he did. Let me just get this police. Let me just get this police vehicle. And now they've got the best. Out I, think of the team. I think it's a police vehicle. Yeah. It is a police vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's four views there because it's a police vehicle. <laughs> I said he got the best out of his team, that's why he got to win. But he also lost his rag with his players because they, they didn't perform. But look at how many trophies he won. Yeah. Did he put his players first or did he put himself first? Well, he wanted the best from his team, which he, which he, which he, which he got. Yeah. That's what they were dedicated to his job. I mean, I would have loved him to be man England, England manager. I, I would. I'd, have, I'd love him to be, to, put to, job, to be England manager. Because I put it this way they make the fucking thing, they make them fucking win. <laughs> It was the biggest uh, toss pot you've ever worked with in football. The biggest. They're all of the days. Who I've worked with. I've, I've worked with Gaza. I've worked with Vinnie Jones. The list goes on. And they're all funny cunts. But they're serious. Yeah. Well, they're all funny cunts. They're all funny cunts. They're serious. But that's what, that's what they're like. They're tough. They're hard. They're hard people, but they've also, a lot in football, who have mental illnesses. They're alcoholics, and all the lot, but people don't realise. that. But don't forget, everybody's saying they get paid for that much, but how many footballers 
had to retire early due to injury and stuff like this. Not everyone can go on to become a manager or a, in football. And that's what it says. But I can't think else. Oh, it is. Look at, look at the list of players. What's what's been injured, seriously injured, and no one no one can play. Or when they finally come out, that they've got med mental issues or other problems in the life. They go from anything in sports and music, in media and everything what people don't realise what, what they are how many famous people out there do have mental issues okay. or drug problems okay. or alcohol problems or the list can go, can be on, go on and on and on and on there's like millions of people out there who's got all these but they're not getting the support or the care or the or, and all this lot what they need. And what does it all come down to? When it all comes down to society. Society. And trying to get out of it as well yourself wanting to change. Yeah. But that's it, but the first thing has to do is for you to start wanting to change. And then for then for the governments and councils to help you make that change. There's no good saying I want to change if you ain't got the support oh. or the help you need. That's where the hardest bit is. You always yeah. come up against the stumbling block. Uh -uh. Oh, and it all goes down. It's money. It's this. It's that. It's and that's what it all comes down to, to work it out. Mm. Everything they say, they're always chucking obstacles in front of you. Mm -hmm. I want to help with A. But wait a minute. Where's your help for it? Wait a minute. There's no big wall that gets put in front of you. Oh, you can't do that. We ain't got funds for that to help you with that. But it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to say my goodbyes. I'm going to say thank you for listening. I'm going to say look after each other. Give everybody a cuddle and a kiss and turn around and say, I love you. you. And, then, um, and then scratch your head and say, why is this world so fat <laughs> And don't forget to support Digivix, Turbo, Miss Angela and everybody else and be friendly. Bye for now.
and hello everybody and welcome back to Freedom Fighter. I hope everybody's alright and hope everybody's looking after themselves. And welcome to part two of today's live. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Quite bitter um, now, quite cold, to be totally honest with you. Getting dark as well, guys, and girls. Oh. Getting quite dark. If there's any moderators in the room uh, watching this, feel free to uh, put channels in the comments um, if you feel like it. Also, uh, put your own in there if you've uh, got a channel as well. Uh, you're more than welcome. And if you're new to the channel, um, this is Freedom Fighter. I'm Joe McDonald. <laughs> and uh, I normally bring walk around type things a bit like this. Um, we also um, like to I also like to uh, support as many people as we possibly can. Um, our targets for the next couple 
half months is making the channel bigger and uh, hopefully being able to open it up a little bit more I'm planning to bring different uh, things into the channel um, we've got loads planned uh, we've got loads of people to actually meet in person as well um, shake their hands and uh, that type of thing and bring some faces and stuff to the channel as well should all be good and uh, we should actually bring some new uh, people um, to the channel and some new topics as well and um, listening to Turbo uh, this afternoon on Turbo Fight Hub don't forget to check out his channel um, there was a charity fight night um, coming up and a lot of YouTubers they're getting together and uh, having MMA fights and boxing fights and that type of thing and um, raising money um, for charity um, talking to Turbo there's going to be trained uh, approved uh, referees uh, safety checks, licensing checks um, and all along that type of thing in uh, a gym he actually owns and runs um, in Sheffield um, I'm sure he'll give you more information uh, about that night um, when he gets round to it I think he said something like it's going to be £25 uh, for a table um, VIP uh, ticket um, and you get a buffet and things like that um, I'm sure I'll release some more information around the tap time. Oh yes, yeah, so check out um, Check out um, the channel around that time. Um, for that event, and uh, I believe it's for all different types of uh, charities. And I'm sure it's going to be a fantastic night and a lot of uh, money is going to be uh, raised. Um, I'm sure it'll be enjoyable um, for people as well. And I'm sure... Um, People will uh, interact and that type of thing, and I'm sure you'll make friends out of it as well. Um, and obviously, open bonds uh, and friendships with people you've uh, never met. So, it's well worth uh, going and uh, checking it out.
is the COVID-19 um, vaccination um, centre. Out the way, guys. And girls. COVID-19 uh, vaccination um, centre. And I'm gonna love and leave you all. Stay safe, look after each other, don't forget to to support channels and that type of thing. If you would like to don't forget uh, links on the channel as well. You can find um, a PayPal link um, or a buy me coffee link and if you want to support the channel um, by them means um, feel free um, and the proceeds and that will go towards uh, hotel fees and travel expenses um, to bring stuff to the channel and thank you for your continued support look after each other um, keep on fighting corruption uh, in any way, shape or form pull your camera out and if you think you're going to be challenged on something record it um, look after yourself guys like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell and it goes ding ding <laughs> bye for now guys and stay safe